All right, now one of the things I wanna talk about real quick is the relationship between dopamine and serotonin because serotonin can actually play a role in desensitizing the adrenergic receptors, which is all that's happening when people say adrenal fatigue in the first place. Now the first thing you need to understand is the body wants to keep dopaminergic and serotoninergic activity balanced. This means when serotonin goes down, the body levels the playing field by increasing the conversion of dopamine into noradrenaline in an effort to decrease dopaminergic activity. Now since cortisol increases the PNMT enzyme responsible for converting noradrenaline into adrenaline, if cortisol is high when that happens, it's going to convert that noradrenaline into adrenaline, which can overstimulate the receptors and cause a temporary resistance. This is why it's important to keep dopamine and serotonin balanced. So what are some things that you can take to facilitate that? Well, you can take rhodiola, which minimizes excessive conversion of dopamine into adrenaline, thus helping balance dopamine and serotonin. You can take ashwagandha, which works by balancing dopamine, adrenaline, and serotonin, and as a side effect, decreases cortisol. And you can take phosphatidylserine with glycine and magnesium taurate after your workout and again before you go to bed.